In this video, we will, will review the construction, features, and functions of the core basic electronic indicator that is made in USA. So we're going to remove this one. It's the more advanced VRS uh, indicator, versatile indicator. Focus on the core. We're going to start with the construction of a 3 8 diameter stem, 8 millimeter optional, 448 contact point, M2.5 optional, battery tray, left side of the bezel takes two CR2450s lithium batteries the right side we have our data port uh, available cables include USB Digimatic RS232 and pigtails if you'd like to make your own we're showing off our brand new lifting knob on this new indicator uh, it's nice and soft to the touch if you remove the lifting knob and the thread protector you can throw it on uh, a dust cap on the top of the indicator this brand new indicator has our new sensor that's patented it allows for absolute true absolute positioning you could even remove the batteries you would not lose your position it has a really long battery life 10,000 hours estimated for casual use 6,000 for average use and 1,000 for continuous operation with advanced features like our radio module to our preloaded iOS app that we've downloaded. We'll get into that app in just a moment. This patent sensor has a fixed scale. This is one inch travel, very compact for one inch travel because the scale is fixed and the reader moves. Most indicators are completely the opposite, which allows uh, them to be very bulky. Um, and more fragile because the scale is moving. Here we have no overspeed, very responsive, fast indicator, long battery life, absolute sensor. We'll move about halfway down, turn it on, it knows its position. Once again, I can remove the batteries, turn it off, turn it on, always knows its position. Very excited about that patented sensor. The indicator we mentioned can pair with the uh, radio uh, from the indicator to a mobile device. That's a standard feature is the short range radio. Uh, the electronic dial indicator is the app that can be found on the uh, iOS or App Store for Apple devices or Google Play for Android devices. Once again, electronic dial indicator. We also offer a long range radio from Microridge that's going to be also built in. You would just need to get a, a receiver from them connected to your PC, uh, your computer that is, and you can do your data collection with a long range, more industrial uh, radio as well. To get into the basic functions of the indicator, it has six buttons. The off button, on button, when it's on, it becomes a zero. So you have your floating zero. You have your travel reverse, which is plus minus. Out of the box, it's plus on the inward stroke. You can reverse that. No, it's negative on the inward stroke. So once again, you can just press and toggle it back and forth. We have a res button that stands for resolution. You could always change the indicator to a coarser resolution and not a finer than purchased. You would toggle, press it and toggle through the resolutions. And then if I stop, it will time out and set the resolution where I left it. This is a 50 millionths indicator. So I can go to 50 millionths, one tenth, five tenths, one thousandth, or in metric terms, we can go to one micron, two micron, 10 micron and 20 micron. Once again, once I stop toggling, it will time out and set it at the resolution I chose. I just demonstrated the inch metric button to toggle from those two units, millimeter and inch. And the last button is the data button. We use this uh, to set up our radios. We also use it to send data. If you have a 
uh, a cable plugged into the data port. Um, so I would hit the button, data comes on the screen, and I'm sending data. Now you do not need to use this button to send data. Uh, you can request it from your PC or data collection system through the cable or you can set it to automatically send data to your mobile device. Uh, so it's just if you want to send one reading on the release of the button, data is sent. This indicator is available in a number of different travels. This is one inch, once again, nice, robust, compact, strong indicator, one inch travel, 600 thousandths travel, quarter inch travel, eighth inch travels, 60 thousandths travel, um, special travels are also available. Now we'll get into the uh, radio module that is standard with the indicator. Uh, short range, great for 10 feet or under, can go farther, depends on your environment. If you're looking to go 30 feet, uh, we do suggest you buy the optional micro ridge radio module that's built in. So to set it, we would press and hold down the data button. That would enter the radio menu. We'd use the plus minus to toggle through that radio menu. Off, a rate of zero means I need to press the button to send the data to the mobile device. A rate of one, uh, 0.5 is it will automatically send one reading every two seconds. A rate of one is one reading every second and a rate of five is five readings every second. I hit the data to apply that. It's looking to the pair by blinking. I can hit my round blue circle with arrows and hit the connect button. Now I've set up my wireless gauge number one. You can name that if you so choose. You can also connect up to seven devices at one time, whether it's this model or its sister model, the VRS Versatile Advanced Indicator. There are three major menus on this app. We're in the scan. There's the measurement and then there's the logs. Measurement is the main screen. Here you can see your readings. See how responsive it is. It's a really smooth indicator. Real nice indicator. Updating on the display. You can hit this gear button here. It goes into indicator configurations. Here you can change the display. Let's we want a more analog display. More like a mechanical indicator. And if we set it there, it will carry back to the main display. Once again, I'll hit the gear, go into indica indicator configuration. Love this feature. Let's uh, set it up here. Hit the zero. I can remotely zero the indicator through this app. Now this app is for both indicators. Some do not work with the core. Um, we've limited the, a lot of the functionalities. We want to simplify this product. And if you need the more advanced, you get the more advanced indicator. Here we show the advanced features. Now this is a setup mode. You wouldn't usually have this open. It's communicating back and forth with a lot of data. And so most things are grayed out as I mentioned for the other model. Uh, we can check the box under automatic log, set our interval. Let's say we want to record or log one reading per second. I hit one, hit done. Another thing we can do down here is set my analog scale. Let's check it to a more dramatic 10 thousandths of an inch or 200 micron. And then you can see the scale has changed dramatically to a much more coarser scale and we're automatically logging so I'm gonna close this box by sliding the advanced bar once again that's a setup bar it's not something that should be always open um, love the zero once again if I don't want this display I can go back to the other display it will hit the arrow back button I'm on the main measurement screen the green is set for auto logging for one log per second. I can turn it off and on. If you don't want to do auto logging, you want to do manual logging. You just hit the manual button every time I hit it. I'm logging. 
So we want to kind of get a chart here for you to see. We're going to hit the auto. We're going to move the spindle so it's not a flat graph. Just give a few measurements here. Nice smooth indicator. Very accurate. So now we can go in logs, check our graph. We have a nice chart there for you to view. If you prefer to see it in a table form, which most people might, you've got your readings, you've got the date, and you've got the time. Go back if you would like to email you that yourself that or somebody else this data that you've collected. Check the box, hit the share button. It's a CSV file will pop up in an email. Type in your email, send out that CSV file. We're going to cancel that, delete. Uh, what if I do not want that log readings? Let's go to the measurement. I'm going to turn off my auto log because it's still logging data. I can delete that file. And we've just deleted it. Really nice gauge. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that we missed about this, but you can ask us questions. Uh, great product. The app can be found, once again, at Google Play. Electronic dial indicator app, free. You can find it for iOS devices in the App Store for Apple devices. Free, download it, comes standard with the short range radio module, optional long range radio mo module, patent sensor, great construction, made in the United States. Thank you for uh, watching the video on the core basic dial indicator.